Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today, on this Thursday. Well, listen, I just wanted to reach out and just say real quick this one thing, and I'm going to hop off of here. That that person that you had in your life thought that the grass was greener on the other side. And now here they come back to you hoping, wishing, and praying that they could get through. <clears throat> I want you to understand some chosen ones that you are irreplaceable. I want to say it again. You are irreplaceable. I just wanted to say that today because I want you to understand that sometimes when we're going through trials and tribulation, when it's our turn to grow, we somehow attract things into our experience to challenge us and to make us feel that we're not good enough to receive all the things that God has for us. And so therefore, whatever we think, sometimes people will begin to reflect those insecurities back to us and we will attract people into our lives that will try to convince us that we're no good, that we're not good enough, that we don't look good enough, that we don't do all of these things the way that we should be doing it. And it just didn't work. I mean, it's just not good for me. It's just draining me. And so that person will leave you, not give you closure and have you sitting there wondering what is wrong with me and within time, because we all run on a, on a frequency and a pattern. That person will come back to you and realize that, that you were irreplaceable. And I just wanted to reach out because it is a lot of chosen ones that are being tampered with when it comes to your self-esteem, your self-worth, your value, and all of that. A lot of you are being tampered with in this area. And I'm just here just to tap in for a few minutes today to let you know that when God created you, he only created one of you. No, you are not perfect by any means, but you are very necessary. And I just wanted to tap in to let you know, baby, that you are irreplaceable placeable. They can try to go out and find somebody that may look like you, may be built like you, and may halfway think like you. But when God created you, baby, he broke the mold. I'm just here to remind you that you are remarkable. I'm here to remind you that you cannot be replaced. I'm here to remind you that you cannot be duplicated. You can blow up your lips, blow up your hips, honey, and get that dip. But one thing you'll never be is me. I want you to understand, chosen ones, that you are irreplaceable. When God made you, he broke the mold. Don't ever allow somebody or some clown to come into your life to make you feel less than because they cannot see the value in who you are. A lot of times they can't see the value in who you are because they can't see the value in themselves. And sometimes people are dealing with their own mess and they push that out on you. But just because they push it out on you, chosen ones, it doesn't mean that you have to receive the lie. I'm just here to tap in just real, real quick today to let you know, baby, sit back and enjoy your life that you should be happy because you are here another day. It's so much goodness and, may and grace and all the good things that God wants to shine and shower down into your life. It's so much that you're here to do to just reflect heaven on this earth. And when God created you, you were designed to be irreplaceable. No matter what they do, they will never find another like you. And if they left, let them leave. When they come back, take inventory and remind yourself how amazing, how awesome and beautiful you are. And the reason why is because you're made in the image of God and you are irreplaceable. I love you. Peace. Bye now.